Suicide Prevention Did you know, on average, 132 Americans die by suicide each day and 1.4 million attempt suicide? Also, 10.3% of Americans have thoughts about suicide and 54% have been affected by suicide. Let's begin by defining suicide. Suicide is the act or an instance of taking one's own life voluntarily and intentionally. This is a very urgent and serious matter. Suicide or even suicidal thoughts can be easily prevented and here's how. First things first, notice the signs. Is there a change in behavior? Randomly crying for no clear or apparent reason? Random moments of anger? Excessive use of drugs and alcohol? There's a chance that it could be nothing to worry about. It could be depression. Or much worse. It could be thoughts of suicide. These thoughts occur more than one may think and definitely way more than they should. Don't be the person to say, I did not know they were going through this. Or, I wish they would have talked to me. Or even, I wish I would have gotten to them sooner. Do not assume that it is a simple phase or something that they would never do. Because when it's too late, it's too late. Suicide can be prevented if you just speak up. It doesn't hurt to ask. What's wrong? How can I help? It doesn't hurt to ask straight out. Are you thinking about killing yourself? What if they say yes, or maybe I was thinking about it? Your response should never be along the lines of That's crazy. You're doing the most. He or she is not worth killing yourself over. I know you're not serious. Never use any of those responses for someone that has suicidal thoughts or intentions. Try responding like this instead. How can I help? I'm sorry you are feeling this way. I want you to be safe. I am here for you. Believe it or not, responses like those speak volumes. Children, teens, and adults have suicidal thoughts. So never underestimate anyone. Instead, take action. Talk to someone like a doctor, school counselor, or maybe a minister, or anyone else that can help. Whatever you do, do not take the situation lightly and just think it's going to pass by. Make sure you or your loved ones always have someone they can turn to for help. Make a list of at least five people that they can call and talk to. Include the number of the suicide hotline. 1-800-273-TALK Make sure your home is safe. Make sure pills that can be harmful are in a safe and secure location and locked up. If you own a firearm, make sure it's locked up or maybe even consider getting rid of it. Suicide is not a matter to take lightly. Get the help necessary and take action to prevent it.